So I'm part of the Bowling Green uh, Empire Spikes Back intramural team. Uh, my friend Tom actually asked me to join. Volleyball has been a part of my family like for a long time. Uh, my sister played, my, my parents played, so it's just it's played a pretty big part. The volleyball league that I'm part of right now is the BGSU Intramural Volleyball League. Uh, best way to put it is it's just a pickup style league with other students here at the school. You play with a team of friends that you know against other students here. So the way the season and the games are kind of laid out is you play about once or twice a week, Tuesday, Thursday kind of deal. About 10 to 15 games you played for a season. The team at the beginning of the season, I would say, was off to a pretty rough start. Um, it was kind of our team's first few times together, just playing the organized sport. At first, we struggled a little bit. Uh, our teamwork was a little lacking. Um, it was a lot of uh, missed and dropped balls because we couldn't communicate, didn't call it. Our biggest problem was probably communication. We are working on it. Uh, there's been slow improvement throughout the entire time. Uh, we are getting better at it. The most important thing that's needed uh, for a successful volleyball team is just for the whole team to be on the same page. You know, when one or two guys aren't on the same page, uh, everything can go awry. And uh, so if, you, if you're all on the same page and know what's happening, you should be, be pretty successful. We address issues mainly by communicating and talking about what we should do, how, what went wrong, how we can improve. It wasn't the best at first, but as the season went on, we all learned uh, from each other. We learned from what our mistakes were uh, personally, and just all those pieces kind of fitting together. Uh, we built our skills over time to uh, win a few more games. It is very cool to see our team improve as we go. Um, we've we had very clear improvement in many areas. What I do to turn our team around uh, for having a bad match is I try to keep the spirit up. You know, if I ever feel that our energy and like our confidence is, is dropping, I try to really stay into it, remind them that we're, that we're fine, mistakes happen, and I uh, try to keep our mental side of the game uh, active. When I'm losing, I usually try to think about how I can help the team, how I can improve, and try to make plays that benefit the team the most. I really don't want to let my team down. I want to keep going. I want to help them win. As our team played game by game, I would say just our chemistry as a team grew together. You know, at the beginning of the season, I think each player was kind of doing the, their own thing. We, we weren't thinking ahead for plays. But as the season progressed, we really uh, came together. We knew, you know, when the ball is in one place, which we put it next, uh, we came together well. I'm very tall, so I am very good at blocking, uh, being very defensive. Defense is my strongest area. I think the one skill that developed the best over the season was the set spike mechanism. Um, I know, I think I got better at the setting mechanism, but the whole team kind of learned to, you know, not hit it always on the second hit, and uh, we learned to, to set up an actual play to uh, get the kill. Going up against someone else and blocking them is one of the best feelings that you can have in volleyball. It's, it's knowing that you were able to beat someone else. When I set the ball perfectly or block the ball, just a big wave of confidence goes through my brain. Knowing that I did what I can do uh, to get the point that we need uh, with the highest chance. Um, I would say the best player on the team was Jack Behan, uh, simply because he had a lot of previous experience. He played on a team in high school and uh, he had all the mechanisms of the game down. Uh, he's just all around uh, a very good player, uh, serving offense, defense, uh, very all-around talented player. What inspires me to play better is just to make sure that the whole team has fun and, and has more confidence uh, throughout the game. Uh, when I play better, 
I know that our team's confidence is, is just better. Even if we lose a game, if we know that we made minimal mistakes and I was part of that, that helps me want to be better. Going into the first game of the tournament, it was a good team, so I knew there was a chance that we would lose. It was just another game, the same as any before, uh, that we really have to be on our A game and keep the chemistry together. Our opponents were undefeated, so that was pretty intimidating to go up against a team that was obviously very good. Some of them had played before. They were really well organized and had the best chemistry that I, that I had seen from the league. So we knew we had to really step it up in that game. Uh, we knew they were all going to be good players, uh, but we just wanted to win, so we didn't care. The first half went uh, very well, actually. We, our teamwork was very good. We got a lot of our hits in, no missed uh, passes. Both teams were getting points off of um, mistakes from both sides. Our team had some incredible plays. There were some amazing spikes, some amazing saves. There were a couple good strings of, of serves consecutively. We were within one point of the final point of the set. And uh, I think it was a mistake on our team that lost us the match, but we kept it close the whole time. The second set was not as close. Uh, the, the other team uh, seemed to warm up a bit. They were getting power kills on us, and uh, we couldn't really keep up with them. Uh, the other team's serves were incredible. There's no way around it. Uh, they continually just got ace after ace against us. Overall, I think I played well. It's always a fun time playing with my friends. Um, I think it was sad, but I had a good time. I'm overall happy with how the season ended because we grew and our skills grew uh, throughout the whole season. We started off relatively uh, miscommunicated, but as we grew, every single player learned, every single player got better, and that makes me hopeful for, uh, for the future if we choose to play again. I would say that I'm happy with how the season ended. Uh, I obviously would like to go further, but I had a good time with friends. So, A lesson I learned from this season is that no matter how down you are, you just have to keep playing the best game that you can. And I think that really applies to life in every situation. Just to keep your head up, you know, uh, nothing's perfect, uh, especially if, the, if this isn't your life. Just to keep, keep your confidence up and keep your head strong, and it, it goes a long way. In reality, you're not always going to win. You're not always going to be the champion. But what's important is that you have to keep getting back up and keep playing. Uh, what intramural volleyball means to me is simply fun. Um, I don't do it to be the best. I don't do it to go farther with it. I just want to take my mind away from school, meet up with my friends, and play volleyball for fun. If you were thinking about doing an intramural sport, I would 100% recommend it. It's a lot of fun. You're getting a lot of exercise, it's a great way to make friends, so many good things about it. I would say if you're contemplating joining intramural volleyball, just go for it. It's really, even if you don't have much experience, it's really a fun time to get together with friends and just, just have a good time and get your mind off of school. If I had one message uh, to everyone watching, uh, it's to always find a team, always have something to work towards.